So I have an interface. That interface has two property, a title and an author, right? So then you're gonna create, you're gonna create a, a, an object out of that, right? So what I'm doing here, I'm just saying, okay, I have a course and I'm creating a course, okay? Advanced TypeScript concept and the author is me, okay? So that, that, that's, that's, that's basically the, the, a, a simple example. So here's my question. How can you, you, I'm talking with you, um, how can you um, freeze or turn all properties of these objects uh, uh, into uh, read-only property? So that's basically the point here, right? We're talking about map types, right? So that's what we're talking about, okay? So, um, so uh, yeah, I guess people, if you use Elm and you try to compare with TypeScript, there is, well, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's on another level, okay? So, but we, in TypeScript, we already have things that can make your code way much easier. So let me quickly, Make that happen here. So how can you do that? So you have uh, uh, many ways to go. What you can say, object dot freeze, right? And you can pass courses, right? So look what is happening here. Before I even do that, what I'm trying to do is to say, okay, I have a course and then there is a title and I want that title to become uh, uh, TypeScript or TS, advanced TS, right? So. Okay, so if someone sees this, yeah, they won't be able to know exactly uh, what is what is happening there, right? So there was like, what is advanced TS unless you know that it's TypeScript. So I don't want this to happen. I don't want someone to go and change that. So if I do this, okay, I need to move it just a little bit here. By using object freeze, I'm basically saying, okay, I want to freeze that that thing. So this thing's going to return me uh, a freeze object, a freeze courses, right? Right now I have this. So if I do, if I, I go freeze courses, whoop, and I try to access the title and then say, for example, uh, let's add something here. You can see that Freeze doesn't let me do that. So what basically happened behind the scene? Look at this. <clears throat> it just says freeze has been turned into a read only property. So then you cannot change this anymore. You can't change that. But what you actually did here, you get, you, you use JavaScript. There is no TypeScript related thing here. You just used JavaScript, right? But I had to I had to uh, uh, over this thing to see that that's a read only property. That's a read only object. Uh, 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 object indeed. So, so you can use freeze. Oh, that's that's one way of doing it. So now let me show you another way of doing it. So a second way you can actually manually go and then say, okay, let me take that interface and let me add read only everywhere. So read only, and then as you can see by adding read only here, it's already freezing here. So the problem now is like I'm actually alterating existing code instead of uh, making sure that I can actually still use that and add, uh, 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 mutate uh, and avoid the mutation of the thing by creating another variable as we did right here. Okay. So, and then the other problem is, guess what? Now you want all of this to be read only. So what are you going to do? So you're going to basically add, if you have a, a, an interface that has uh, 20 property, are you just going to type read only? No, you're not going to do that. So what you're going to do, if you're using TypeScript, you can use type level programming to do that, to automate that, right? So here is the way you will do this. So let me remove that read only here. We don't need that. And we don't need this one as well. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is basically approaching it differently. So the, the, the way you do that, you're going to say, okay, I'm going to freeze that course. Okay. I'm going to freeze 
uh, the, the, uh, the new instances and then people can actually use and the, and the freeze freeze the one and the other one so the way you will do that you're just going to say okay let me create um, um how would you uh, say that how would you call that let me call an interface here and then i'm just gonna call that freeze okay and i'm going to freeze so what what do you have in freeze so you're going to have something of type t so now what I want to do is just to, to, to rewrite this thing to basically use, to, to, complete, to entirely freeze that, okay? So um, let, let me use the type. It's, I like type for these kind of things. They're, they're, they're much easier to use in that case, okay? So what am, I going, what am I doing here? I'm just saying that for each property, I'm gonna take each property in key of, so I'm gonna take each property in T, right? And I'm just gonna make them read only. So now I have one step. So one step is basically take each property. So it's that's a loop. You should see that as a loop. It's really important to understand that I'm looping through each key, which means that when I'm going to use freeze, um, I'm going to use that with courses for example, that here, I'm actually taking all the keys here and I'm transforming them. The transformation hasn't happened at this stage. I'm just taking them all, listing them. And now I can just put here this as read only, right? So by doing so, now I just turn anything that goes in here into a read only uh, uh, property here so now I can now say I have my my uh, this this part so let me just copy this and we're going to create we're going to create uh, something that looks like this okay and then we're going go, going to pass courses here so what did I just do I took I took this thing and I said well I'm going to turn that into a freeze course and I'm gonna freeze everything inside and then pass this but by passing this i guarantee you that if you go here and then you say freeze courses and you're gonna you try to do title um and then you say here i want to change that um is this one that i want right you can see that it's not okay with that cannot assign to title because it's a read only property right so if you go here you see has been freezed, right? It has all each property in there has been turned into a, a read-only property. So those are the things you can do. And as you can see, if you're using TypeScript uh, 3.8, I think it will it came probably earlier than that. Uh, this thing is already it does exist nat natively in TypeScript. It's called read-only, right? So. They, they made that available for you already in there. So you can use that to make your code um, to, to safely create read-only um, uh, uh, properties or read-only classes, right? <laughs>